Hello, welcome back and welcome to a special episode today. We're in the province of Buri Ram in southern Isan on the border of Thailand and Cambodia and we're here for a very special reason. Well, a few special reasons. The first is we're going to have a quick look around the province. I'll show you some really interesting and unique historical sites and some surprises. So plenty to see at the beginning of the video, but then in the middle and at the end, we're coming to a very special place and we're gonna be meeting one of my favorite YouTubers here in Thailand, someone who I've watched over the course of the few months I've been driving around Thailand and I feel like I've become a part of his family because through his content, he's taught me so much about rural life in Thailand and we're gonna roll up our sleeves and we're gonna get involved today, learn about the process of living in the middle of nowhere in the beautiful countryside of Buriram and we're gonna meet the naked guru in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> so because this actually might be the only video from Buriram province, I should mention before we drive towards the Naked Guru's farm, Dreamy and I, is actually where I stayed last night. And I wanted to just explain a little bit about Buriram because it's quite cool. I really like this place. So the province is quite typical of Isan. You know, it's mostly farmland and rice fields and everything like, like we've been seeing. Uh, the town itself is quite nice. There's a big university. However, where I was staying, this giant car park basically but this car park has so much to see and do and on each corner of the car park is something wonderful so at the top end is Thailand's biggest most famous racetrack international standard world famous racetrack and actually I was lucky that the night I stayed here was the finale of the Formula One season so last night the place was absolutely packed there was even a race uh, on Saturday and Sunday some of the bikes because it was a uh, motorcycle race some of the bikes and the drivers are staying in this hotel. So last night I got to sit and drink with a bunch of Thai people who are professional race drivers and in teams. And I mean, look at this thing. This thing is, this is serious. This stuff here, this is like, puts Dreamy to shame, bless her. But um, there's also a really nice castle and the grounds are absolutely gorgeous. And last night and yesterday afternoon when I was walking around and going for my afternoon run in the car park, it was beautiful and there's lots of activity in this area as well there's a night market kind of like a picnic area where Thai people in the afternoon come and have beers picnics with their family there's like a skate park for the kids it's very lovely and then <laughs> the coolest thing is a 20,000 capacity football stadium for the local team Buriram who I think are Thailand's most popular and most successful team and they have this huge stadium 20,000 and unfortunately it's not the season uh, they're having a winter break you know i think i might come back to the town and we might do another video in the future but for now it's early morning i've had breakfast and we've got an hour drive to the countryside to yeah go meet the naked guru so let's go Okay, so we're here at Panom Rung and it's quite the beautiful place, I have to say. This is really old and to be honest, there isn't that much information in English, but uh, luckily I know everything about this place, so let me tell you. So Panom Rung is a Hindu Khmer Empire temple complex. It was built in a time of Khmer social political influence here in Thailand in as early as the 10th century, which actually predates the main building in Angkor Wat in Cambodia. So this is two or to 300 years older than Angkor Wat. It's mainly built of sandstone and laterite. And the shrine itself is Hindu in origin and is dedicated to Shiva and symbolizes Mount Kalash, the heavenly dwelling. Mount Kalash, of course, being one of the highest summits in Tibet in China. So yeah, if you didn't know that, I mean, seriously. So 
so old and you know it's so old you can see that they used to have these holes in all the rocks because they had to drag them here from far away and they had the slaves and workers to pull them via ropes and then manually lift them and put them up here to create these structures and then you know the more skilled workers would then delicately do all the artistry and inscribing and sculpture work into the stone and to think that this days back before Angkor Wat incredible and uh, I've been here for quite a long time actually <laughs> I've just condensed this part of the video quite short because it, it I, this video is about Buriram and about going to see Ryan but put this on the list it's in the description if you're in Buriram come see this it's fantastic it's big it's extremely well kept the gardens are incredible I love it here absolutely love it and I don't know why I'm keeping my voice down there's nobody here but it just seems to be like you know a very religious and important place and special I remember this place for sure this is this is a jewel of not only Isan or Buriram but in the whole country of Thailand fantastic Okay, we made it. So, not to the farm, but Ryan has recommended me. Ryan's the name of the naked guru, by the way. <laughs> it, yeah, he's recommended me to stay in this lovely little guest house and coffee shop. And the room's quite lovely, 600 baht, and it's decorated all, all boutique-y. It's very fun. And uh, I'll probably get a good night's sleep tonight because I'm gonna be helping at the farm today. He texted me and he said, yeah, yeah, well, I was planning uh, to plant some chili plants today and uh, I need you to help on the farm if that's okay, if you don't mind. And I was like, yeah, great, you know, this is what I want, this is what I want. I want an experience of, uh, you know, real countryside lifestyle, real rural life. And by the way, if you don't know who the Naked Guru is, just before he comes and picks me up, let me set the scene a little bit. There's one channel that has really helped me actually when I've been on this particular trip. And yeah, and that's the Naked Guru. So on paper, I think I was put off initially just because the Naked Guru, uh, I, I don't know, I just imagined this, this hippie guy living in Thailand and I thought oh here we go this could be pretty cringy <laughs> but it's far from the case in fact as soon as you start getting lost in the content and you start to get to know him and his family and the backstory and the evolution of what they've built because over the past six seven months I've watched every single one of their videos um, and I've learned so much about the simple life here in Thailand, the rural life, and you know, Ryan's really good at explaining things, how things work, and also sharing his personal journey. He's not afraid to let it all out, and he offers really good, wise advice. I think that's where the guru comes in. As you know, I've been struggling from time to time on this trip, from loneliness, a little bit of anxiety sometimes, just the general things that happen to you when you're traveling alone for a long period of time and you're starting a new business and lots of things going on at once. Things can become a little bit much. So when it comes to YouTube, when I come to sit, settle down and get into bed and put the telly on or cast onto the screen or even just on my phone or the MacBook, you know, every night I normally have one or two hours on YouTube just watching my shows and watching my favorite channels and he's always on. The music and his simple life and the way he explains things, it's very soothing, it's very relaxing. And I feel like I've been brought into his family, I feel like a part of the family. So it's going to be strange to meet his wife and see his little boy and see the farm. Because I feel like I know every plant, 
and every nook and cranny of it because I've watched it grow, literally. I've watched it grow from a big empty space of nothing mud to a thriving mini little farm with multiple buildings that he, he, he and his family live and work on. So that's who he is. And, you know, I said, I left a comment on one of his videos saying, please can I come visit when I'm in Buriram? And thankfully he responded and we added each other on Facebook or whatever and he's on his way. So what a great opportunity to not only learn a lot about rural Thailand, but also to go meet one of my favorite content creators here on YouTube. So I'm excited. You just keep your eye on the road, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Okie dokie, here he is. <laughs> right, here they are, here's everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, shall I tell them what happened? Uh, <laughs> this is actually the next day. <laughs> what happened? We blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just, he picked me up and went back to the farm and we sat down, we started having a chat, getting to know each other and w walking around. Next thing you know, it's half past six and the sun's gone down <laughs> and I haven't picked up the camera and he's not done anything and we've just been chatting away the whole day. It was a little bit, it was great though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. nice, nice. I really needed just to have a proper chat with someone and <laughs> yeah, we just got lost in talking about life, YouTube and the future of the world, wise guru type stuff with the, <laughs> with the guru. So he wants me to graft, don't you? What, yeah, what we, you we're going to put you to work. Like you got to come to Isan. You have to live the real Isan lifestyle, so it's visiting the buffalo and shoveling crap and uh, getting you to work. And also, I've got a beautiful sarong for you. It's your choice if you'd like to wear it or not, but it's a beautiful, beautiful sarong. It's how the locals dress. Keeps it all very airy down below. <laughs> um, it's not a fashion statement. Many people might think it's a fashion statement. It's nothing to do with fashion. It's, uh, it's practical, and that's why the locals wear it. So hopefully we'll get Paddy in a nice sarong and get him to work on the farm. Commando or what? I do. When in Rome. <laughs> That's a Paddy Doyle exclusive. That is. <laughs> <laughs> so just before we go pick up the plants, we've come to visit Damo, um, Ryan's wife's father, because Ryan wanted to show me where he lives and he lives in this wooden shack basically in the middle of all of their land so everything you can see around me here is rice fields and this is part of the family's property and little puppies here and everything and we've come to learn a little bit about the buffaloes oh hello hello so a deca oh <laughs> hello you're friendly aren't you but yeah ryan wanted to show me just sort of the simpler life because this is where Damo's father just lives happily in a wooden shack in the middle of nowhere, which is really cool. Are you all right, love? How are you? We also have a family of buffaloes. So we're going to go say hello to the buffaloes because I've got some questions about buffaloes. If you saw recently, I got chased by some. <laughs> and I don't know if they're friendly or not, so I'll ask him some questions about the buffalo. <laughs> this is her dad coming behind here with the doggies. Aww. She's a boo. She's a That's she cute. What do you want me to do? Well, you're going to go and stroke her, aren't you? Okay. On the head. Hiya. Hiya, you're right. How you doing? Oh, wow. Does that feel good? Oh, yeah, a little scratch on your head. Oh, wow, I've never touched a buffalo before. Boy or a girl? This is a girl. She's not had a baby. Wow, I've never got this close to a buffalo in my life. Oh, yeah.
make it over, just how how in the middle of nowhere everything is. You just bumpy road, bumpy road. No signposts, nothing. And then there's people's businesses and housing and everyone just seems to get along and there's buffaloes and cows everywhere. It's proper rural. Right, we're back. We have all of the veggies and the plants that we're going to be planting and I'm going to get changed into the traditional guru outfit. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very feminine wearing this. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so come on then, show me what we're doing then. What's the plan? Plan the, the first, this one, this area, we're going to uh, plant chili. Chili here? Yeah. I'm worried I'm going to chop my toes off. <laughs> I'm clumsy, trust me. Will you not put your shoes on? <laughs> put me no, on that's alright, I'm okay. Right? I'm not a child. <laughs> Cut to... Ah, my toes have gone! Alright, isn't it? Yeah. There's ants everywhere. Yeah, I think you'll be alright with that. Oh, that's what's biting me. <laughs> right, you want to get a, a chili plant then? Oh, you have that one? Yeah. Oh, this one? Yep. Yeah, the ants have been aggroed. How's that? Beautiful. <laughs> well, you have to send me pictures of that one as it grows. <laughs> as it grows. And the first time you yield some chilies. <laughs> yeah, it was a surreal experience to be working on the farm. I mean, I've been watching Ryan's videos forever, it seems like. And now I was here, it just felt strange. It was like being on the set of one of your favorite TV shows or something. And a part of me thought that he only wanted me to plant a couple of things and get some B-roll for his vlog. But no, he had me working in the sun for hours. <laughs> we planted so many plants. I was getting eaten by the ants and burnt by the sun. And I had three or four blisters on my hands within a few minutes. Remember, I'm a soft city boy. I'm not like a real Esam farmer type person. So it was, as fun as it was, it was hard work. Luckily, the little boy Tiss, Ryan's gorgeous son, came over and offered some water. Was that for me? Thank you. A little bit of gin in there. <laughs> We're on the way. And even though it was hard graft, it was only a couple of hours, but you know, for me, that was hard work. <laughs> We'll go put them somewhere where you won't get chopped in half. Right, so since we've just finished planting them, this is the buffalo poo area, where the buffalo that they have sleep in the evenings, and then they've crapped on the floor everywhere and created the best fertilizer. And then we're gonna go back and spread it on the top of the plants. Wet. Oh! Sorry. Try not to think of it as poo, think of it as mud. It's just fertilizer. And you'll just move this around. Right, so you've got a nice fertile top. And then each season, the soil just becomes more and more fertile from this. So... You don't even put that much on, do you? No, no, you don't need to overload it. And it doesn't smell. Because if you overload it to the, the young ones, it burns the plants. It burns, especially seedlings. Before, when I didn't know what the hell I was doing, 
Um, I was putting buffalo poo on seedlings and they're just falling over dead because uh, they burn. And after we had finished planting, the guru wanted me to meet his newborn piglets because they needed help feeding. So they've recently had a, a litter? Did you call them a litter? I think so, yeah. A litter of piglets. They've got a big, big feminine mummy pig, huge thing, and she's had little piglets. And they have to hand feed the weak ones because mummy will only feed the big and strong ones. Yeah. It's all right. Don't, don't be daft. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. I think the work for the day is done. We went out and got the vegetables, we planted them, we fed the pigs, and we've done our little bits and bobs for the day, and that's it. So we're gonna have a quick shower and jump in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, this is what Paddy Doyle in the Naked Guru in a hot tub looks like, if you've ever wondered. <laughs> so yeah, look, for the rest of the afternoon, we just talked in the hot tub and actually Ryan cooked a really nice mukata style barbecue, Thai barbecue style dinner. And you know, this was my second day on the farm. I told you at the beginning, it, the first day, which was the day we planned to film, we just didn't because we just got on so well and we were just talking for hours and hours and hours. And you know, Ryan, the guru, if you're watching this, I imagine you will. Thank you for letting me come visit. I know it's not something most people do it's a very intimate thing to allow a stranger basically into your home and close contact with your family and to get down and dirty in the garden and so just just want to say thanks again Ryan for really making my day or a few days it really helped open my eyes to happiness you know like you are so happy with your family and you've been through challenges and ups and downs and look what you've built with your family and, and continue to grow. Not just each week <laughs> seems to be another bamboo hut in the house or something, but just the general journey that you're on. And I think that's why, you know, he allowed me to come visit because he sees the fact that I'm on a journey and he wanted to advise and crack heads with me. And yeah, I hope I rubbed off a little bit of information and insight into you because you certainly did to me. So thank you again, Ryan. And thanks for the delicious dinner and just just everything. This has been one of my highlights of the whole trip, especially Isan. For sure, this is the highlight of Isan for me. So thank you once again. And after everything, I, I had a little tour and, you know, I basically knew what everything was anyway because I'd seen you build it. But uh, in the afternoon, just before he dropped me off, we went for a lovely walk with the family and just soaked up the Buriram countryside vibes. And I can tell you, if you've ever watched his videos, it is exactly how it looks. It is as beautiful as it seems, quiet and peaceful. And it's the simple life. And sometimes the simple life is the best way to go. <laughs> See you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.
Yes, when you really want to go. 